So I kept seeing triple one number. Um, and I some time back saw triple one again. And I thought triple one means that the universe wants you to learn a lesson. You know, it's trying to tell you something. There is something that you haven't learned yet. And it wants you to know more. It wants you to introspect more. So I didn't know what triple one was trying to tell me, but I thought, let's ask tarot cards how to understand what triple one means and uh, what is it trying to tell me and um, I pulled three cards here and the first card is Knight of Swords and um, I haven't checked because I'm new to tarot <clears throat> so I haven't checked what my intuition is trying to tell me in the book in the booklet I just want to look at this picture and uh, knight of swords is a uh, uh, knight are usually um, men under men or women under 30 fairly young and he's riding on the horse and he has a sword in his hand and he's like really rushing um, and it's in broad daylight um, and it 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 tells me you know it, this triple one is my learning it's my introspection it's my lesson so if i introspect and if i look and see what this card is trying to tell me is that um i've been going fast i've been doing a lot of things i'm moving along in the right direction um and uh, i'm moving on with a good speed you know so so messengers usually you know knight of swords or any kind of knights are mostly messengers and um, they are uh, ambitious uh, people you know like usually people under 30 are ambitious you know they have some dreams they have some goals and when it comes to knight of swords i know that um, that they are on to something you know they're pursuing something they want to get to their goals which is my case too you know i have goals and i'm working really hard working in that direction so this is the first card is a past card okay so what it's telling me is that in the past you have worked very hard and you're very ambitious and you're working towards your goals and you're moving very fast and you're focused you know um and stuff like that the second card I have got is Five of Cups. And uh, in this card, you can see somebody has three cups that have fallen empty and two cups that are behind him. And he is sad that these three cups are empty, but there are two cups behind him, you know, that are ready for him. So he's not paying attention to the two cups behind him. He's paying attention to the three cups that are in front of him and he's standing by the river the river is flowing it's broad daylight you know things are good so um if i and this is a present card you know the second card is a present card so if i have to think about in my current scenario uh i do focus on what i don't have instead of being grateful most of the times you know 20 30 50 percent of the times i am grateful but there are times when i'm focusing on what i don't have and uh, and this is what it's telling me that you know instead of focusing on what you don't have why don't you focus on what you do have you know and uh, be more joyful you know like I want to be like it's a desire in me to be very joyful energetic enthusiastic and happy but if I if I scan my internal system I feel like I'm not there yet you know so I have goals I'm not there yet and I feel bad that I'm not there yet so internally I, I do feel that I'm not there yet and um, and then the third card is the future card 
and the future is four of cups and um, in this card we can see that there is a there is a man who is uh, feeling again low uh, he's not seeing the three cups in front of him uh, even though he has the three cups in front of him even though he has somebody you know uh, like a cloud or something he, he's he's being given this this cup and he should be happy about it you know technically but even when he has everything he's looking down he's not happy which could be my case too you know that I have everything that I have asked for I'm in a much better place uh, you know financially uh, personally but still internally if I scan my system uh, I do feel low and I do feel like I'm not there yet okay so this is a kind of a sad card card and I don't want to end my reading with this sad card so I'm going to pull the next card that I get and and the next card the fourth card is an emperor and uh, the emperor card is uh, a major arcana card that they say in tarot and if you look at this emperor card um, you can see a you know nice old man um, with uh, something in his hand which is like gold and he has his weapon in his hand he is in a in a top position you know and he is in you know as good as it can get position and um, um, he's in a power position you know in my case if I have to relate my personal situation to this card then yes he's in a power position he's an emperor position um, and uh, this is somewhere where I would like to be okay uh, by the end of my life and uh, what it's trying to tell me is that it's there i just have to be patient i just have to uh, be uh, uh, stick in there you know be patient stick in there it's coming um, and uh, everything is good and there is nothing that i need to worry about because i have everything that i need life is going as per my uh, goals you know whatever my goals are I'm working towards them it's happening and eventually I will be there so we, these are very good cards um, it's very encouraging and in my personal case the message that I'm getting is that I cannot spend my time focusing what on what I don't have I have to spend my time more focusing on what I do have being even more grateful and joyful than what I am and um, not focus on you know like to be honest with you I do feel bad about my weight issues you know and I have been feeling more and more bad about it lately because everything else is going fine and then there's this weight issue and you feel like you know why can't you have like everything right so um, we all are somewhere you know self-critical about ourselves we have doubts about ourselves and uh, somewhere subconsciously we just feel sad about ourselves you know we just feel bad about you know, things that we don't have but what we miss is what we do have what we miss is the gifts that are being given to us you know and not many are getting those gifts so yeah this is the ultimate reality and I, I, you know, the lesson that these cards have given me today through this reading is that I should be more, more happy, more joyful, more um, content with whatever I have and uh, not worry about what I don't have, you know. So, so this is what I wanted to share with you guys, my reading. And uh, let me know if you want to do your reading. I will be more than happy to do that for you. Thank you.